welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is your weekend reading for the 21st and 22nd of December, which is the winter solstice. Well, the 22nd is the winter solstice. And apparently we get seven hours and 49 minutes of daylight here in the UK, in the Northern Hemisphere, I think. I don't know, because I'm not very good at hemispheres and all that stuff, but it's what we get in the UK, because I had a look. I had a look on Google. Okay, so, hmm. That means then in Australia, you're getting the summer, aren't you, I think? Good for you, okay? I would like to do a swap. I would love to do a swap. Although, what you can say about this is, that A, it's a very powerful time, so have a look on something like Cafe Astrology, see how it affects you. And also that the only way is up in terms of daylight from here. Remember I talked the other day about really loving those tables of daylight time? This is the turning point, people. Okay, so I'm using the Wild Unknown Tarot because this is the deck that I use in things like bonfire night and wintry solstice things because it's got that kind of vibe about it. It's all fires and twigs and sort of black and white with kind of bits of flame and things. Really like it. It's by uh, Chris Kranz, is it? I did used to have the box to hand and I don't now so I hope that I am representing that right because it deserves that kind of respect. I have a real respect for this deck. I find it difficult to use all the time simply because it doesn't have pictures of people on it and I think a lot of the reason I like tarot is because tarot cards are pictures of people and I know when I was younger and I used to doodle and sketch I only doodled and sketched if there was a person in the drawing, because if there wasn't a person in it, it didn't seem to be alive. So I do have that difficulty, but nevertheless, this is an amazing deck, which actually manages to go beyond not having people in it. Let me know. Anyway, leave me a comment. Oof. a beauty that's the thing with this deck as well because it doesn't have it's really hard to work out which way up the cards go because it doesn't have um too much color when it does it feels like a real burst which is a bit what winter is like isn't it you take what you can get Oof. that's a like a between a woof and a something, I don't know what a woof is. A woof. <laughs> Oof, God. Okay. Concentrate, Gemma, concentrate. Oh, God. <coughs> it's like taking a stiff drink, some of this. Wow. I suppose, and I don't know, to be honest with you. Oh my God, that's lovely. I suppose this is what we should expect out of a solstice energy. It feels, I don't know why. I mean, that's generally how my ast astrological leanings are. Uh, I can feel something and I don't know why, so I will go and look it up. So I suggest you do the same. Although I've noticed in the comments section, and thank you, some of you, um, Deborah, I know you're one of them, are just really good at astrology and you sometimes put the astrological stuff in the comment section and I read it all. So, and that's what it's all about, isn't it? Because that is a contribution from everybody and it leads to a greater understanding. And we like that, that's why we do YouTube. Anyway, shut up Gemma, let's do the reading. Nine of Pentacles is the overall itchy nose energy card. I like that a lot. I like the shape of it, I like the feel of it, and I like the feathers. Lost feathers are part of winter, okay? Don't ask me where that came from, but look. Lost feathers are a part of winter. It's reminding me of an Italian book I used to read my son when he was little called Nam Nam, and I've talked about it before. Nam nam means munch munch, I think, in Italian. Let me know, because like, there are some of you that are Italian speakers uh, who are watching the channel. Nam nam, 
was this very gruesome book that my son loved when he was about three or four, which tells you he's an Aries. And it was a life cycle book where this animal ate that animal, ate that animal, ate that animal, and it all decomposed and made this enormous life cycle. And that's what I'm getting here. Lost feathers and the death card, recycling. You know, not in the kind of plastic bottle sense, but in the, well, kind of, yes, I suppose. What am I trying to say? Death and rebirth, because there's some very difficult cards in this reading and the most beautiful cards in this reading. Let's go for the big guns, Three of Swords. We're not faffing about, are we? I always think of this as an emotional bobbin card. So you've got three swords and they've been bound by this emotional tie. It's a very difficult card. It's a triangulation card. It's a third party card. It's the card of triangulation in family relationships, whatever it means to you. Next to it, this very, very beautiful five of pentacles, which came up not yesterday, but the day before. A sense of needing to isolate yourself from triangulation and emotional tripwires, okay? You know what I'm talking about if this belongs to you. Then, over here, we have a change in the weather. Now, I'm just looking, yeah, it is. This is the eight of wands, believe it or not. It's like the eight of branches in this. Look at that streak of rainbow lightning. The color comes and hits the pile. Now, we also have this beautiful rendition of the Eight of Swords. There is a chrysalis that wants to turn into a butterfly, okay? And it's trapped within the Eight Swords, which are mental self-limiting beliefs. But what is needed is that, and it comes. Eight of Wands, of course, a Sagittarius fire energy, the energy of I feel it's an interruption of energy, but in a good way, as in the stagnancy and the restriction and the wintering and the freezingness and the <coughs> is and it goes woof. Not woof, but woof. I don't know what, what is woof. We have many different forms of woof today, okay? And then look what bursts out of it. The Ace of Cups. I mean, it's just phenomenally beautiful. When this deck goes colour, it goes colour. It's just so beautiful. It's simple and lovely and amazing. And if that wasn't enough, it then goes to the Two of Cups. This is a gorgeous thing, okay? Look how that turns into that. I know, I love it. Right, okay. We are, what are we going to take to go with that? I don't, I don't want to spoil it because it's such a good reading. But look, it's not without its moments, is it? Doesn't come from nowhere. That death energy really is taking things back to the bone so that they can recycle, so that they can phoenix back. What do I want? I'm going to have Belinda Eames. That's what I'm going to have because that feels about right. Here we go, the clairvoyant cards. Love these cards, the only downside is the size because they're a bit, my hands aren't very big, so the hand spanning is a bit, oh. but apart from that, I love these, I recommend them. I think it's, oh, there they are, clairvoyant reading ooh, cards by Belinda Eames. Picked them up in a weird shop, it was one of those things, you know, where you just see them. Oh, look at that, that's gorgeous. Openness. Personal transformation. Now, how strange is that? Because even I, with my so, so limited uh, biological qualifications, <laughs> know from being at school when we used to have tadpoles that they grow into frogs. Yeah, I know. They kind of are like, a wiggly thing and then they have legs and then they into a frog not quite in that sense but you know what i'm saying there's a woof going on and we had that chrysalis with the butterfly i want a third one though yes i do Ooh. opportunity opportunity knocks 
I feel like when we've had all these pentacle cards in the last few days, that's an opportunity forming, okay? But it's forming itself out of something really quite painful. We are going to have <laughs> Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. I like this reading. It feels like it has a lot of perkiness about it. Let me know what you think. Do subscribe to the channel as well. Make sure that your wiggly bell is still wiggling. You'd be surprised. Oh, that's a gorgeous card. God, I love that. Gaia's Garden, fruition, abundance and reaping what you sow. That is a cornucopia card. It's coming in. Lush. Okay, healing with the angels. Oracle card. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> Enchantment. Follow your bliss, okay? You're being encouraged. This is a beautiful reading. Please leave me a comment. That's right, Valentine. Leave me a comment and let me know how it resonates with you, okay? I'll see you soon. Namaste.